shuttle. What I would like to see with all the top players is they come from above the shuttle to play the net shot. He comes from underneath it. And technically, that's something I think he's got to improve on. That was a perfect example from Hidiat. When he came into the net, he came from above the shuttle and then put the racket head underneath it. And that's what you need to be doing when you're playing net shots. Anticipation and just being able to move forward. That's a yep. great point. Seven all. Taufik not having it all his own way at the moment, but he is a notoriously slow starter. And the number uh, yes. of times we've seen him come from behind, quite extraordinary. A big, brave shot there. The crowd getting pretty excited on an adjacent court as well because Denmark have taken the first game in the men's doubles first as well. So, wow, wouldn't that be an upset if Denmark beat Korea in this quarter-final? Korea will be really kicking themselves if they let that happen. It's eight all. That's a lovely piece of net play. Both players, brilliant, brilliant play. Fantastic. What a rally. The crowd love that. And you've got to hand it to Rajiv Usev. He played a full part in that rally. But it was that jump shot drop from Taufik that won the point for 9-8. That was a fabulous, fabulous moment. But I can see you're, you were actually looking at me and you're using your hands to describe what uh, Rajiv is not doing again, Jill. So you're saying he's not actually got enough racket movement in anticipation of playing the shot. What, do, what I'm trying to explain is too often I think he's got his racket down by his ankles. Okay. When, he's, when he's waiting in his base position, his racket's down, racket head is by his ankles. Right. And then when he's coming forward to the net, that means that he's got to bring the racket head up from low down. Now, what I want to see with players is, as they're waiting in the base position, with the racket right out in front of them, almost pointing at their opponent. And then when they come forward, bringing the racket head high, and then you can come from above the shuttle to meet the shuttle early at the net. I get you now. 10-9 it is, and it's Rajiv in the lead. It was a fabulous down-the-line shot there, just right on that line, on the forehand side. As you say, he's a big, big unit. He's got tremendous reach. He's certainly got a significantly longer reach than Taufik. Good stuff. Terrific. Inside out, absolutely perfect placement there from Taufik to level everything at 10 all. Good placement from Rajiv, he had a chance and he took it. Super placement into the backhand corner. One of the things that's always impressed me about Taufik is his strength of ability to play those backhands with whatever, whatever kind of action he chooses, whether it's a clear, whether it's a smash or a drop, his backhand is one of his great strengths. But there, it just let him down a little bit and it gave Rajiv the opportunity to smash and he took it with both hands. It's half time in the first and 11 10. Asger Madsen, originally from Sweden, now coaching the English men's singles players. In fact, on his second spell of coaching in England. I think you'll be pretty pleased with what he's seen so far. Yep, absolutely. Taufi under pressure at 10 11.
Ramsey there into the body. A change of tactic from Taufik works out beautifully. 11 all. Interesting to note that uh, other than Smith and Concorro, who had played twice before, no other players in the English and Indonesian teams have matched up against each other before. So a new experience for both players here. And therein lies a little bit of a tale, I guess. Taufik not quite used to the height of this guy his opponent but he's now beginning to look as if he's getting used to it fabulous drop big hits a snatched backhand from Raji Joseph makes the net and the crowd erupt yes yeah, a slightly ambitious defensive shot at cross court but it was a powerful smash 279 we just saw there on the speed. Great pick up. Oh, what a defensive position from Taufik. Spectacular. It's out. That was a big, big point for Taufik Hidia. Rajiv had a chance to kill it. He didn't take it. Hidia's anticipation there was the difference. It's, you know, extraordinary. I thought Taufik almost gave up in the middle of that rally. He sort of thought, well, I've hit such a bad shot. It's bound to be over with then carried on fighting and it that just goes to show you never ever give up in a rally never i must say there's there's another bit in common these two players i bet you can't guess what i'm going to say because it's not like me to say it but i have noticed looking close at them both when we get the close-ups of them they have got extremely good looks the Bollywood good looks of Rajiv Youssef and the extraordinary Asian look, Indonesian good look of Taufik Hidia. I bet they are big heroes, potentially, well certainly Hidia is. Rajiv Youssef has that potential as well if he can just lift his game a few more degrees. It's strange we don't get the hero worshipping in Europe like they do out this part of the world. Of course, you get more with tennis uh, in terms of the, the big, big stars turning on the action. But uh, Rajiv has not given up on it yet at 14-15. And look what a difference when he really reaches forward with that next yeah, shot. you're right. Oh, what a pick-up from Taufik. Another super rally. Brilliant rally. Great placement. The crowd love this. Oh, what a point. Everybody was absolutely on their feet at that. It's 15 all, and that is an extraordinary rally. Rajiv Youssef was competing beautifully for it. And a desperate lunge from Taufik finds the tape and comes back on his own side. That was fantastic. Listen to the crowd. They love their badminton. I just can't believe my good fortune to be here, Jill. It's something special, really special. I'm expecting another grand person soon. I tell you what, 
I will be telling them the story. <laughs>